And we just showed in the last video that if we were given a point and a line and asked to find the line passing through this point that's parallel to this line, we would get this equation in vector parametric form. What about backwards? Suppose we were given a typical problem from 3D, but now in 2D. Find the equation of the line through T12 parallel to the directional vector 1 minus 2. How would we make it into this form that we like, y equals ax plus b? Well, the first thing we would do is use our formula, let's say, from down here. So we would have xy equals, and here x0, y0 is 1, 2, plus lambda is our parameter, and then times, and we would have 1 minus 2. So how can we make this look like this so we can get to this? Well, the idea is we can multiply or divide this by anything we want as long as we multiply and divide both components. Well, we need a 1 here, so what have we done? We've divided by minus 2, so 1 divided by minus 2 would be minus 1 half. And then we would fill in the rest, so it would be x, a y equals 1, 2 plus lambda times this. These are the same. And now we can see that a equals minus 2. So we could use our standard format, which was y minus y0 equals a times x minus x0. So what do we get? We get y equals minus 2x. This is plus 2 plus that 2, so plus 4. So supposedly, these two are the, the equation of the same line that passes through 1, 2 and is parallel to this directional vector. Let's see that. So here we have GeoGebra. We've put in the point t equal to 1, 2. There it is. And the vector r equal to 1 minus 2. And now we're going to put in our equation of our line. So we're going to write in y equals minus 2x plus 4 and hit enter. And we can see that indeed it passes through t and is parallel to r. And we can come up to this line, right click, and say we want it in parametric form. And if we move this over a tiny bit, we should get what we had. 2, 0. That's a different point. That's this point, 2, 0, right? But there's our directional vector, 1 minus 2. This can be any point on the line, remember? And this has to be the directional vector, right? 1 minus 2. So that's good. And also, I would like to point out that we could easily have said that the direction of this directional vector in 2D is the change in y, which is minus 2, minus 0, so minus 2, over the change in x, which is 1, minus 0, which would be 1. So the direction of this directional vector in 2D is simply the y component divided by the x component, and we would get a equal to minus 2.